video I'm going to talk about spontaneous processes and spontaneity. In chemistry, spontaneity is the tendency of a process to occur without any external energy output. In other words, a spontaneous process is one that will occur by itself. A good way to think of a spontaneous process is to think what happens when you leave ice on room temperature. So the ice will melt by itself, making it a spontaneous process. As long as you're not adding a flame next to it to, to make it go quicker, or melt quicker, the process is considered sp spontaneous. So this can tell you that a process can be really quick or really slow. But as long as there's no energy output, external energy output, of course, uh, this process can be considered spontaneous. Another example is the combustion of methane. So now let's think of what happens in a spontaneous process. The first characteristic of a spontaneous process is that it always proceeds from a high energy state to a low energy state, making it more stable. So it goes from something that's unstable to stable. So going back to our ice example, at room temperature, ice is not very stable. So it goes to a more stable state by melting into the liquid form, so water. So remember, spontaneous process always go to a more stable level. Now the second characteristic is that during a spontaneous process, it releases free energy. And um, by free energy, I mean the amount of energy that can be converted into work. So this is also called usable energy. So any type of energy that can be used is called free energy. But more detail on free energy in future videos. Finally, the last characteristic of a spontaneous process is that it always goes to completion, meaning it gives a large product yield. So those are the three main characteristics of spontaneous processes. What I wanted to do in this video is to give you an overview on spontaneity and of course spontaneous processes. So when I talk about them in future videos, you have an idea of what I'm referring to. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.